I have returned! And I'm back with another tutorial. Hopefully a quick one because I don't feel like editing. So today I'm going to show you the reasons why you should get Creative Cloud for producers. Not only do you get, you know, beautiful Photoshop or After Effects or Adobe Premiere, you get what I consider a hidden gem, which is Adobe Audition. This thing is awesome if you don't have contact. If you have contact, then this is kind of pointless. What we're going to do is we're going to take a hard style kick drum and we're going to pitch it inside Audition Engine. And I love this. I learned this trick a while ago and I never really tried it. And then I got Creative Cloud and I was like, man, I'm spending a lot of money a year. So I better use this thing to its fullest. So now we're, we're in Adobe Audition here. This is a screen you'll see when you start it up. We're going to go ahead and I have this kick drum right here and my secret folder of kick drums. Actually, it's a lot smaller because I've gotten rid of a lot of the old school ones that don't sound good. But anyway, so let's go ahead and listen to it. Good kick drum. We're going to go ahead and drag it in here and drag and drop. As you can see, uh, <laughs> I have this beautiful air that's not pointless. So go ahead and select it and delete it and it kind of crops it for you. So this is the kick drum that we have right now. It's a good kick drum. But if I was to tune it inside of like Logic Ableton. Uh, I don't know anything about Free Loop, so I don't know how good the pitching engine is. I was never satisfied with the way it sounded. I always thought it sounded like bad, honestly. But now with Adobe Audition, we can go ahead and tune it. So the thing that you want to do is you want to leave the the talk, the knock away uh, alone, especially like in basses too. Like anything that has like a pitch sound to it, most of the time you don't want to tune it. But then again, music is music, so do whatever you want. We're gonna go ahead and grab from I think right here is gonna be a good section. Let's listen. Let's see, let's get a little more. Yeah, I uh, know, we'll do here. I like this. Now that we have our selection, we can come up here to effects, scroll down to time and pitch, and stretch, pitch, and process. This thing is amazing. So the algorithm I have is isotope radius, and then uh, I have it on high. I don't touch this but I do touch this, lock, stretch, and pitch shift, resample. This is super important, and I'll show you why. So we'll keep it at zero and we'll undo this right now. As you can hear, no changes whatsoever. Let's just go down minus one. That sounds horrible. That sounds so bad. I don't like that, and that's what logic sounds like when you just pitch things inside of it. So we're gonna go ahead to the lock, stretch, pitch, and shift, blah, blah, blah. And now let's listen to it. Normal, minus one, let it process. That's it, right there, that's so much better. That makes everything sound good. And same with going up too, we'll go up four. Yeah, it just sounds awesome. And then here on the advanced, I have vocoder mode on preserve speech and characteristics and the pinch, pinch, pitch, 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 pitch coherence we have it for. So there you go. You go ahead and hit apply. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's go minus one. So this is an F now, right? Hit apply. It's going to do the thing for you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and export file. You will export all of these with the proper pitch and the name and please, <laughs> for the love of God, for your own for your own mental ability, name it right, because it's impossible to figure out what the hell you did later. Uh, so now that we've done that, I've, I've already gone ahead and done this multiple times. I need to do it more. You can see I have all my kicks here. For this specific kick drum. So now let's go inside of Logic here, and we're gonna open up Sampler. Sampler is amazing. Remember that pop that I didn't really care for at the end there? We can just go ahead and fade that out. Well, first of all, you would drag all these in, line them up and put them in their proper spot. Then you can open up the zone here. And then when you click on the kick, it shows you the file here. And I don't like this pop, so I'm just gonna fade it out a little bit. And then, oh, where is it? Nope. There it is. Ta-da! It's as easy as that. 
So that's why I think Creative Cloud is actually worth the money because you get four amazing programs. Well, technically five if you're into 3D. With that being said, I think it's worth it as a hard style producer or as a, just a general producer. I would love to see what crazy stuff someone with like, you know, synth or bass skills could do in Adobe Audition or just crazy sampling in general. If you guys want to show me, please, please show me in the comments or like link to a track where you did that because I think that would be really cool. There you go. Quick tip, very easy. If you have Creative Cloud and you never use Addition, use it for pitching. But if you have Contact, don't worry about it because Contact has an amazing pitching engine as well. Cool. Bye.